Did you ever know what you wanted to say, but you didn't have a stamp to say what you wanted to say? That's what happened to me today, but I figured out a way to make the stamp say what I wanted it to say. I'm Brandi Barnard from brandystamps.com, and this is an episode of the Great American Stampin' Show. I'm super excited to show you today a fun card where I'm using three different kinds of designer series paper and inventive stamping with my greetings. This is a competition, so you should watch my video and then watch each of my three competitors. Their links are in my description. And all you have to do is watch each video and then click like on whichever one you like the best. That's how we'll know which one you want to vote for. And then we will announce a winner in just a few days. Our winner from last time was Shannon. She had an incredible magic card that was not colored and then it was colored. She totally deserved the win. It was awesome. I appreciate all of you who watched and voted. You guys are the best and I hope today you will enjoy my video the most. For season three of the Great American Stampin' Show, we have been using layouts from the annual catalog. These layouts are pictured on page 22. This is all of them. There are actually 22 different versions. So our episodes have been doing one layout at a time and this is episode 17. So we are right over on this layout right here. Here's a little printout of the layout so that we can keep it handy while we're stamping today. Make sure that we stay true to this design. Um, the first thing that I thought when I was looking at this is I wanted to maybe use designer paper for these pieces here, but I wanted a nice big greeting for the front. So I was searching all through my greetings, trying to decide what to do with it. And I landed on this stamp set. It's called Reindeer Memories. This one is just an online exclusive and designed for our scrapbooking line. So you scrapbookers out there gotta make sure you have this one. I love this stamp right here. I wanted something about this size, but festive memories didn't seem like quite the right thing that I wanted to say on my card. So I was looking through all my stamps, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and I decided that I wanted to use the festive, but replace this instead. So what could it be? Festive thoughts, festive greetings, festive fa la 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 la. I decided to do festive wishes. So let me show you how I got that going. First thing I had to do was rotate this card. And that's because the greeting didn't fit well with it the other direction. So that's totally fine. This is the direction the card is going to go. And I will just attach that right here so we can keep track of it and make sure we're doing a great job sticking to this layout idea. So here's my stamp, Festive Memories. And all I'm going to do is grab my early espresso pad and I'm just going to try to ink it up, avoiding this part of the stamp. So to do my layer for stamping, I actually did a favorite trick of mine, something I haven't done very often, but I actually love it. And that is stamping right on designer paper. So this is a little bit from a pack called mm, Green and Gold Christmas or something like that. I'll show it to you a little bit later because we're going to pull it out again. So it's got kind of foiled gold designs on the back and I'm just going to use this. It's kind of a mottled vanilla paper with dots and we're just going to stamp the word festive. So doing this is fairly easy with a photopolymer stamp. You can see right where your image is. So you can go to the edge of your ink and tap the letter F several times so I get it real inky. And then we'll turn it this way. And I'm just avoiding getting any ink on the part that says memories. Just make sure, if you do get any, you can just use a fingertip to wipe it off. I think I'm looking okay right now. And I'm just going to go up into the upper left corner here. And there we go, festive. So I knew I wanted it to say wishes. I looked through all the stamps I had. I decided to use some dies. This die set is called Alphabet a la Mode dies. And it's these kind of tall, skinny letters. You get two of some of the ones that are more common. So that makes it easier to spell out a word and cut what you need all at once. Super convenient. So I was thinking about what paper I wanted to do for this and I reached for my festive glimmer paper. You guys, I've been kind of obsessing over this paper the past few videos. It's a paper pack that has these three shades of glimmer paper. 
you get the red and then a lighter and a darker green. And I literally love all of them. Love, love, love. So I decided to use this darker green. And what I did is apply one of our adhesive sheets onto the back. It basically just turns this into sticker paper. Let me show you. If I lift a little corner of this, there's just like sticky adhesive on the back of that now. So as I cut my dies, I can peel the backings off and basically make them into stickers, which is very convenient. So I'm going to grab my letters to spell wishes and I can just easily line these up. See, it's so nice because it has two S's. I won't have to run it through two times through my machine. And now I can just put this into the sandwich and right through my Big Boss machine. So when we pull this out, this is what we've got. Each of the letters has been cut. It looks like this. Such a nice, skinny, perfect letter. And then I can just peel the backing. It's pretty easy to just get a hold of one edge and lift it right off of there. And then it's plenty sticky to just go right onto whatever project. Now you could maybe do them kind of wonky back and forth, or you could try to get them straight. The dots on the paper might actually help you do that. But I like to use a little ruler trick. So what I do is pull out just any basic ruler and I'm just going to stick only the edge of the letter on here. And I'm lining up the bottom of the letter with the bottom of these little lines on my ruler. And so as I attach each of the letters to spell wishes, I can make sure they're straight because of that. And then I can just transfer it to here. So I've got this one here all ready to go. See how I just lined up the letters to spell wishes. And now I can go side to side and say, okay, where do I exactly want this? And then you'll just press each of the letter tops on here and you'll just pull the ruler out from under and press the letters into place. You can flip it to the back, give it another good push, and that is ready to go. Another thing I wanna do while I have this piece out is add a little bit of linen thread. I've cut about nine inches of this, and I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool. It has this nice little piercer end, and I'll just use that to poke right under the S. Just loosen that up a little, enough to thread this through. And then I can just tie a little bow right onto the S. Now you could actually probably tie what I call an air bow and then just attach it with a mini glue dot. But the reason that I didn't do it that way is because that one can fall off. If, if, if it's attached to the letter S here or some part of the project, then it won't come detached. So this layer right here is basically my whole front piece and it is ready to go. So let's set that aside and work on the rest of the card. I wanna show you a couple of designer series paper packs that I have had on my mind. This one is the Season of Green and Gold. So I had used a piece of this earlier. It was this dotted one that's right on top. But look at all these beautiful designs. Season of Green and Gold is a perfect name for it. It's got all these beautiful gold foil highlights and then just awesome different green designs. Some very detailed, like lots of interest going on here, but some very quiet with just kind of a background vibe. Look at this one with the stripes. I'm loving all of these. As you saw, I used the polka dot one for our main piece here. And now I want to pull out the plaid one. I've had my eye on this. Plaid is such a fun, cute design for Christmas. The other paper I have had out on my table, this is called Graceful Greenery Vellum. And oh, I love vellum. And so I bought this right away and I've had it right out on my desk wanting to use it pretty much for everything. <laughs> there are two sheets of each design. We have three different designs here. One's kind of a snowy white pattern. And then of course we have our pine boughs. And then this one is a little bit more of like a eucalyptus look, these fun little shades of green. And then we get the little white berries. So maybe this is mistletoe. I'm not sure you guys tell me what plant this is, but this is the one that I've been just staring at. I love it. So let's pull that out. So here are my two papers that I am just loving, but look at what happens when I actually stack these on top of each other. 
Isn't that a great look? You see the plaid through here, but the vellum just gives it a little bit of that elegant touch. And I love the way these two look stacked. So I'm going to use this for our three strips to go on the background of our card. This piece right here is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So I can take this and cut it into one and a quarter inch strips. So let's put this right into my paper trimmer. One and a quarter is quite small, so I'm measuring this way over into the small ruler. And I've got both papers just stacked together. You don't have to do it that way, but you can, and it's nice and easy. Okay, so here is what I've got now. And you can see these designs do line up if you put them close together. And when I put these on my card background, they're not gonna be too far apart. So you will still get a little bit of a cohesive vibe here. The card base that I'm using just for this layer in the back here is going to be Early Espresso. And this is 11 by four and a quarter. I have it scored at five and a half, but I'll also use my bone folder to give it a nice, nice edge. And let's go ahead and just start sticking these on. So I'm putting Seal Plus onto my first designer series paper strip. And I'm just lining that up. I'm just making it even around all three edges here. And then I'll take the one for the other side. And I'll do the same. Now I can just grab the one that goes in the middle and put some adhesive on and just space it centered between the two. So I wouldn't go one, two, three. I'd go one, three, two, if that makes sense. Do the two sides and add the middle one after. Now we are going to put these three strips of vellum on and because vellum will often show the adhesive through, I like to make sure and place the adhesive where it won't show. So on this middle piece, I can use a couple of glue dots, just both kind of in the centers. Now this one that's going to go below I'll just put a couple of glue dots, but I'm putting them in the middle, closer to the inside edge where I know my little greeting piece will cover those up. And same thing for our last layer, just two little glue dots, center, close to the inside edge. Okay, so there's our card base. This is the piece that's going to go on top. Let's give this some Stampin' Dimensionals. Remember, this is designer paper, so it's a little bit more floppy. I would always put dimensionals in all four corners for sure, but because this one is also, it's just, it's not as strong. I'll go in the centers here, and then we'll go in the centers here. And that should be good. Let's go to the inside. Whenever I have a really dark card, I'm going to want a piece of lighter paper on the inside. Vanilla is kind of our base color here, so vanilla makes sense for this one. And we'll just adhere, this one's five and a quarter by four, so it's gonna give you a little edge. And our stamp set has a couple more stamps that'll work. I'm gonna grab the present and the Oh So Jolly. Okay, we'll go early espresso. Oh, so jolly. Such a cute little simple greeting, kind of fun. Perfect for the inside. I would probably do my envelope to match as well. Plenty of room for me to write my festive wishes, if you will, on the inside here. And now let's go ahead and add a final touch. I've got these gems here. These ones are called Earth Tone Shimmer Gems, and they do have a really nice shine to them. We've got this kind of beige color and a really good vanilla and a basic kind of medium green. There's even kind of a reddish tone. I actually think any one of these would be great on this card. I ended up going with the green ones, but honestly, I think there is not a loser here. Okay, so I'm just using the putty end of my Take Your Pick tool. I just kind of push it to the side. That way it slides with the adhesive on the back still. And then I'll do a couple down here. Let's do one right here in the corner. And then maybe a big and a small one that are just right off the edge. So I've got a total of five. 
I like to always do odd numbers of these guys. And here we go. First of all, let's compare it to our template. Have we done a good job? Yes. I'm very pleased with how well we were able to stick to the template and make something creative and fun. And I really am pleased with how this card turned out. Let's bring it up so we can get a really nice look at all the shimmer, the gems, the words. I'm so happy I was able to use these papers layered and also stamp on designer paper. These are all things that I love to do on cards and I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I hope you had fun today on the Great American Stampin' Show. Hope you enjoyed the fun festive wishes card and that you've given it your vote by clicking like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the Stampin' Fun and hop on my email list. The link is right in the description so that you can get all of the Great American Stampin' Show 12 weeks of Christmas Christmas card ideas. I will see you back here next time. Thanks.